Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about the negation of a quantified statement and I've got three variables in this statement. So the original says for all x there exists a y and there exists a z such that p of x, y, z implies q of x, y, z. Okay, so the first step is to negate this is the negation, but we don't want to leave our answer in this form. And the reason is, is that we've got the negation sitting out in front and uh, we've got all these quantifiers sitting inside the negation. So this is like a kind of a cheap answer. We can do better than this. We can pull that negation through. Let's do that now. So the first thing I'm going to work on here is I'm going to negate my universal quantifier. So the negation of for all would be there exist. So we've got there exist an x and then I need to negate the rest. Next I need to negate the existential quantifier. So the negation of there exists would be for all. And I need to carry along my negation of all of the rest of the statement. Okay so we keep working here. So the next thing I need to do is negate the existential quantifier on the z. Okay, so now we're down to the last task, and this last task is basically finding the negation of an if-then statement. So recall that the negation of p implies q is equivalent to p and not q. All right, so that's basically what we have here, although, you know, there's the parentheses with all the variables, so I need to keep track of that business, but it's really still the same format. I need some sort of conjunction here. I need an and statement. So my final answer would be there exists an x such that for all y and all z, p of x, y, z, and not q of XYZ. Okay, and this would be my final answer. So the process, even if we have, you know, three variables or four variables, um, stays the same. We just start from the outside and we chip away at each layer, uh, bringing that negation through as, as we work.